I'm ready to slay across the board. Hey ladies, it's me and the boss and I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be answering all of your questions. I have accumulated so many questions from Instagram and Snapchat, email, Twitter, everywhere. So all the questions that you all have been asking me about my recovery, um, complications, pros, cons, or regret anything, I'm answering them all in this video. So get out your notepads because there might be some helpful information for those of you who are about to embark upon their weight loss surgery. So let's get started. <laughs> So I know I haven't had a video in such a long time and I was literally telling myself every week, okay Mia, let's make a video, let's make a video. But in the same sense, I really just kind of wanted some time to myself to really focus on my recovery and to also just kind of celebrate a lot of the small non-scale accomplishments that I've had. So in the weight loss community, you will hear non-scale um, goals or non-scale victories a lot. And pretty much what that means is, you know, if the scale's not moving, there's other victories or differences in your body that you'll see. You know, like for me, um, I mean, I noticed my face was getting smaller. I noticed that a lot of the shoes I was wearing were a lot more comfortable. Um, they were like a lot looser and my pants that I wore to work every day are now sagging. So in addition to actually losing pounds, I was seeing a lot of other differences and just my energy. Um, and then also too, just my main thing is, you know, I go out a lot. I love dressing up. Having heels that I had purchased, you know, a year ago, you know, it's so much um, it's a lot it's a big difference because you're not putting as much pressure on your feet anymore so we're gonna talk about all of that but um, I definitely want to answer some of the questions that you all have sent me um, on Instagram and all the other social media platforms that I have so let's get into this questions so the number one question that I have received um, post VSG is exactly how are you feeling um, I feel amazing <laughs> that's really the only way to put it um I feel like my energy is definitely a lot better I don't feel out of breath when I'm doing certain things like walking up the stairs tying my freaking shoes so overall my energy and my mindset has been very positive and I think that is the only way that you can really you know kind of go about this because weight loss surgery is of course you know a physical thing but also too it's mental it's definitely 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 mental and um when I say mental, it's like when I first had weight loss surgery, a few days after, you know, I thought I could eat regular stuff, like, oh, I'm gonna sneak and try to, you know, eat some sushi. So if you remember my last video, I talked about that. So a lot of stuff is mental. It's like your eyes are a lot bigger than your stomach, literally. And you just have to learn that, you know, you have to just pace yourself and really just eat the appropriate portion sizes and, you know, don't overeat, don't try to force food because you will get sick. So I've done a lot better with not trying to eat too much and to really monitor um, and ration out my portions and cooking, you know, meal prepping. That's been the main thing. Um, meal prepping is so, so, so important. And I've been finding so many cool recipes on Instagram and Pinterest and other various weight loss websites. So that's been something that's been very helpful to me. Um, another popular question that I have got um, after having weight loss surgery is, have you worked out? So my post-op appointment was on May 20th. Um, you know, I weighed myself and all that good stuff. And at that point, I had lost about 44 pounds um, since the beginning of this process. So I was, you know, not, I'm not going to say I wasn't really, um, like, I wasn't disappointed, but I kind of thought I had lost more weight just because like it looks, I look a lot different than I guess than the weight, the number that I had lost. I thought I had lost maybe like around 50 to 55 pounds. So from the first appointment I had um, after surgery up until the May 20th appointment, I had lost about 10 pounds, which, you know, they say, you know, it's about average. So I'm hoping by the end of June, I lose another 20 pounds and ultimately in October, I want to lose 80 pounds total. total. Um, I did start working out after my May 20th appointment because I was really, really scared because um, I was having extremely, extremely bad um, abdomen pains. So I was afraid that if I overexerted myself in the gym, I was going to, you know, cause further complications with my surgery. So I just wanted to rest and, you know, ask the doctor in person, hey, is it okay for me to work out? So after that, I started working out. Um, right now, I'm just kind of doing about two days a week. I'm trying to increase that to three. I've been doing cardio and doing light weights. 
I do plan on getting a trainer so I can focus on my core and my arms. Um, and that kind of ties into my next question. People have asked me, are you afraid of saggy skin? Yes, I am definitely afraid of saggy skin. Um, being younger, it definitely helps with the elasticity factor, you know, kind of how that comes in. I mean, I'm only 28. I just turned 28 two weeks ago. So, yes, thanks everyone for your birthday wishes. Um, but that is one of my fears. You know, I started this process, I was 363 pounds. Now I'm 319 pounds. So, losing a rapid amount of weight um, does cause, you know, saggy skin. I do have a little bit on my arms, but that was really from before as well but my tummy area is the main area that i'm worried about because that's just my problem area i see a lot of picture, pictures on instagram of women who have had waist, weight loss surgery and like they're thin or smaller in other areas but they still have like a sagging stomach and that is something that i want to work on you know with core work or you know abdominal work whatever it is but you know having cosmetic surgery is not um it's not something that I'm against. So, you know, once I get to my goal weight, which will hopefully be by the end of this year or, you know, the early 2017, I will explore options of, you know, possibly getting like lipo or tummy tuck or whatever the case may be. So I'm not against the plastics. <laughs> so post-surgery, I couldn't drink any protein shakes. Like I still have probably about 10 to 15 premier protein shakes sitting in my refrigerator. So in order for me to get my protein in, I had to purchase um, unflavored protein powder from my bariatric office. Um, it's by a brand called Undry. So I incorporate that into food and also shakes. So I make a lot of smoothies um, in the morning or even sometimes just like for a snack when I kind of feel like my mouth is being bored. It means you're not hungry. Your mouth is just bored. Um, I put like a spoonful of that also, when I made scrambled eggs one time, I put a little bit of I put a little bit of the protein powder in there. I put it in my mashed potatoes. I had made chili once. I put it in chili. So that's just a way that you can beef up your protein intake, and it doesn't taste like anything. Um, so that has helped me so much because I was very, very, very concerned with my protein intake um, in the early stages of of my recovery, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to have brittle bones. I don't want to, you know, just kind of feel weak or anything like that so if you can't stomach the protein powders and things like that you need to get you some unflavored protein and sprinkle it on your food you'll be fine trust me so i got asked how long did i stay off of work so this was my greatest battle with my bariatric um office that i had to really fight them for so when you have surgery they say that you can go back to work after two weeks for light duty but my job there is no such thing as light duty. I stand up all day. I lift stuff. I, I mean, I do a lot of stuff at work that's, you know, requiring standing up for long periods of time. So after my two weeks, I had went to my primary care physician and pretty much had to just butter her up and say, look, I just had weight loss surgery. I can't go back to work. Can you write me a letter that says I can't go back to work? That's exactly what I did. And it got extended to where I was out of work for about a month. I was gone for a month. Um, you really, really, really have to listen to your body and especially in my, my situation, the abdominal pains I was having was like sharp pains, like somebody was stabbing me, like, you know, on my left side. So I just had to really, you know, kind of just stay at home a lot and just relax on the couch, catch up on Netflix, catch up on blogging and all the other like little things I had to do around the house because I didn't want to just hurt myself by thinking I was ready to go back to work because I wasn't. And I'm really, really thankful for my doctor for doing that for me. And I had a battle with my bariatric office to where it came to the point where I had canceled all of my post-op appointments because I was so pissed at them. And I said, look, I'm done with this office. I will go seek medical attention somewhere else. But listen to your body, fight for what you believe in. And you, you know, your doctor is supposed to be your advocate. And if you feel like they're not advocating your recovery, you gotta step up because overall, at the end of the day, you know yourself better than anybody else knows yourself. And that's all I gotta say about that. Other questions I got um, were, you know, how do you feel about knowing that you're going to be smaller and you have a larger variety of clothing? It was always, you know, just something I've always wished I could do is just to go inside Forever 21 and buy anything I wanted. 
Um, and that is something that I still look forward to doing in these next upcoming months. I mean, I want to be like a, a medium large in shirts and to be able to wear like the really cute crop tops and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, just my love of fashion is, I feel like it's going to be so much better. It's going to be so much more sledge in these upcoming months because it's like, you know, there's no limit when you're not a bigger girl. I mean, granted now, I don't even know what size I am. I mean, before I was like a 24, I don't know what size I am. I don't even own jeans, but you had to get creative when you're a plus size woman to really slay how you want it to and thank god there's a lot of retailers and cute boutiques and things like that that sell clothes for the full figure woman but hey i'm ready to slay across the board so yes i am excited for, for that without a doubt a very, very, very common question that I got was, how did you even approach your doctor to say, hey, how do I become qualified for surgery? So my best friend had the surgery done, I think in 2013 or something. And um, I, you know, saw her go throughout the process. Of course, I wanted to go to the same place that she went to. So I went online, filled out the information, and then they made you watch this video, which I really didn't watch. Um, I should have watched the video. And um, then they called you to make a consultation and you had to like send them all your insurance information. And that's really how it went. I mean, so another question that I have received is how do you deal from criticism? So when I was having weight loss surgery, I didn't really get like any negative feedback because the only people I shared this information with was my mom and my best friend, Crystal, at the time. Um, eventually, you know, of course, I did have to tell my dad and he just kind of was... I'm not going to say he was the most positive, but I mean, he was positive, but he just kept saying stuff about, well, you know, you're going to have saggy skin and when you lose weight, you get saggy skin and start making, and you know, your face will start to look older because my dad had lost a lot of weight naturally. I'm just like, dude, I am, you know, less than half or I'm like half your age and I'm young, I'm a woman, you know, I don't think my face is gonna start looking crazy. But look, I have been on social media and I have seen some women who have lost weight and they look super old in the face and I mean, my face is what I got and I was not about to let that happen to me. But um, outside of like family criticism, I never really received criticism from, um, from like, you know, people, because number one, I don't care what people have to say about me because they don't go to sleep with me at night. They don't wake up. They don't, you know, wear my shoes. They don't know nothing about me, but I can definitely speak upon people treating you differently. I mean, I didn't really think I lost that much weight. Of course, you know, I look at myself every single day in the mirror, but to other people, it was a very drastic change. And I'm just saying, okay, I haven't been on the scale since May 20th, so I don't know how much more weight I've lost. But reaction from females, reaction from guys was very kind of like alarming to me because I was just like, dang, like what the hell did I look like before? Because you guys are all like, oh my God, Mia, you look so different. Like you lost so much weight. Like last Thursday, I went out and this guy who I was kind of like talking to, trying to get to know, I just kind of like broke it off because it wasn't really going anywhere. And he came up to me and he was like, kept grabbing on me. and was like, oh my God, like you have lost so much weight. Like you look so good. Like you don't understand. Like you look so good. I'm thinking in my head, like, was I like super ugly before or like I mean it's just things like that I feel like it it all comes with the territory of losing weight and everyone has their type you know big girls we're not for everybody but and in the day I just feel like if you were there for me before and you were attracted to me before and then you know it, it really it shouldn't matter I'll get the flip you know side of, of both of those things and I mean there's guys who are like don't lose any more weight because I'm like well yeah I want to lose about 80 more pounds they're like why what do you mean why I'm trying to slay and be snatched but hey that's it's all part of the weight loss game you will get so much feedback whether it's good or bad but you have to have a strong mental be confident have a strong foundation just to really not care what anybody you know really has to say yeah that's that <laughs> someone asked me what was my goal weight um I don't really have a goal weight I just kind of just want to enjoy this process and see what I look like I mean like I said when I started I was 358 gained seven then I was 363 so right now I'm 319 I'm just trying to get under the threes I want to be 
$2.99 by the next month and a half. But ultimately, I would like to be 200 pounds, which is crazy because that means I lost like 150 pounds. I don't even know what 200 pounds looks like. But my realistic goal is I want to be 220. I don't want to be... Um, I don't want to be stick thin by any means. I want to be like a stallion. You know, I'm five foot eleven ish, five ten ish, whatever. I want to be tall, curvy, solid in tone. All right. So to wrap up this Q and A, I do want to talk about um, a few other questions that I had that I really I want to talk about as well. So a lot of people ask me, do you have any regrets with weight loss surgery? And the answer is hell no, because I never would have been able to lose 44 pounds by myself. Um, there are times when in the beginning stages, like a few days after surgery, I was like, why did I do this to myself? Because I couldn't eat nothing. I could barely drink anything. Um, but just i mean it's not not really a question but it kind of was a question that i was answered i just want to discuss some things that i have experienced like you know just some cons so i went to the dentist on tuesday and i've never had a cavity in my life and all of a sudden i have a bunch of little cavities so i'm like what the hell because i mean i drink like low sugar everything like like what happened so my dentist she was like you know have you had a change in your diet lately and I'm like yeah you know I had weight loss surgery back in March and I was on a very strict um, liquid diet for about four weeks and she kind of explained to me that yeah when you are on a liquid diet it's like a lot of like the the liquids they just kind of sit on your teeth whereas when you're eating your saliva breaks it down so I'm thinking in my head like I am 28 years old never had a cavity and you mean to tell me weight loss surgery caused me to have cavities? So that was, quite, and it was quite alarming to me. And it's like, yes, I'm going to have to pay to get um, like fillings and stuff. And I also too have to get prescription toothpaste now. Like, it's crazy. Um, other things that I kind of just don't enjoy about weight loss surgery is I, it, it's very hard for me to drink liquids throughout the day and I like really have to force myself like hey you need to drink at least four bottles of water or you know something equivalent to water throughout the day um, you're supposed to be um, consuming 64 ounces which is about eight bottles of water a day or maybe I'm wrong about that but any or or I'm never mind I'm sorry I'm thinking four bottles of water or eight glasses of water a day I am probably about two maybe two and a half so that is a challenge that I really have to myself moving forward is I have to step up my water intake. Also too, um, I need to start eating breakfast. Like, I mean, I make smoothies or I'll, I'll grab like a quick, like a breakfast bar, like a protein bar so I can have things like that. But I also too need to start meal prepping more meals versus just doing like, you know, what I take to work with me. Um, I mean, it's kind of easy like to, to have snacks and things like that. Like, I mean, I started eating grapes again, a lot of fruit, um, like sugar-free pudding because I love chocolate and I can't really consume, you know, a lot of sugary things like that. Um, I've gotten so much better when it comes to reading labels. Um, if the sugar is like above 10 grams, I ain't with it. Um, so yeah, a lot of things I used to drink before, like Arizona teas at the gas station. I can't drink that anymore. Um, so I'm in the grocery store a lot longer than what I used to be because I'm I'm reading the labels a lot longer and just trying to make you know conscious healthy decisions. Um, one thing I hate is that whenever I eat, I can't drink anything for about 30 minutes because I I'll sit there and be like I am so thirsty, but you can't because your stomach is trying to digest the food and you're full off of food and you can't you know you know, skip out on your nutrients from food because you want a cup of water. So those are some of the things that I kind of just, I hate. Um, going out to eat is nothing, it's not enjoyable for me anymore because I can barely eat anything. I hate going out on dates with guys because they're like, why aren't you finishing your food? And I don't want to sit there and tell them my whole story of me having weight loss surgery. So I really just don't go out to eat anymore drinking you can drink after surgery i really think i had a drink maybe like two weeks after surgery and you get intoxicated super fast and it's just drinking liquor whatever it has just useless carbs useless sugars and i just get kind of freaked out afraid that i'm going to cause some type of complications in my stomach so i've just 
omitted omitted that. Um, I know you guys have asked me questions about smoking hookah. Um, I smoke the tobaccoless hookah for those who are always in my business on Snapchat saying, oh my God, you're smoking and you're drinking. Yeah, I smoke hookah, but it's not the tobacco kind. So yeah. Um, I always, always tell everyone who follows my weight loss page on Instagram, everyone's journey is different. Never compare your weight loss journey or your weight loss um, surgery recovery to other people because I feel like my my recovery is a, has been a lot smoother than a lot a lot of other people's but then again um it's very mental because i told myself no you're not going to be in the bed all day no you're going to get out you're going to go enjoy your life you're going to you know you're going to just try to be as normal as possible but still keep a lot of the tools that you have gained from having surgery in the back of your head in a little tiny file cabinet at all times so i hope that this um video was very helpful for you all and I just hope I answered a lot of your questions and I hope that my journey of being open and honest with you all inspires you to some capacity or even, you know, if you just take something away from this and you're like, okay, me, I got this, like, I got this. I just always tell you ladies that I want to share my journey with you because I didn't really have anyone to kind of tell me things and I know that with weight loss surgery becoming more and more popular um, I just want to be like a bigger sister to people and let them know just the ins and outs of surgery and it's not as glamorous as it seems like yes we see all these amazing after pictures but no one really wants to showcase the during and that's what my role is to do is to show you all everything that comes with weight loss surgery um, I'm feeling great I'm looking great and I'm just so ecstatic and enthusiastic for the future and just to be able to to take you guys along this journey with me um, I want to say thank you so much because you ladies have been so patient um, with me to even record this video and I promise you all I'm gonna try to be more <laughs> frequent with the videos especially you know when it comes to the questions and also other pertinent topics that I feel like you just need to know when it comes to having um, weight loss surgery so thank you so much ladies I love you all so much and don't stop um, sending me questions and just asking me things like that so thank you so much ladies I love you